Hey, Michelle Schaefer here, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the basics about tweets. It can be a little confusing when you're just getting started with the hashtags and the ads and the crazy links, so let's go over some of the different elements that you might see in tweets on Twitter. I am on my profile, and I'm on the page of my profile that shows all my recent tweets. So this morning I tweeted, got my coffee, so watch out world, here I come. This was just a general status update, not directed at anyone in particular other than everyone who follows me on Twitter. You can see here there's some replies to it. Lucky you, happy Earth Day. The reason I know these are replies to me is it says at and my username. Okay, that's how people talk on Twitter. When they say at, they're talking at this person, in this case me. Here's some other tweets. Um, my YouTube account is linked to Twitter, so when I subscribe or like a YouTube video, it shows up. This tweet here is what's called a retweet. RT stands for retweet. That means I am tweeting something that someone else tweeted first. When you copy someone else's tweet or share it on Twitter, you need to give credit to whoever originally shared that tweet, just like you would anywhere else. So you can use RT at their username and then their tweet. Another example of a retweet that's a little bit different, let's see, is this one here. Sheila tweeted out this morning, or yesterday actually, designer web tools for the designing challenge. And you can see here it says via at Sheila Atwood. I was retweeting and sharing what she had tweeted first, so that's how we show credit there. So it can be either via or it can show RT at the beginning. Those both mean the same thing, just someone is sharing something that someone else shared first. Here's a tweet that my blog sent out when I posted a new post yesterday, creating awesome, just swing, hit, and run like crazy. You can see there's the shortened link. The reason that links on Twitter have bit.ly or uh, super or different domains like that that are real short in them, and then these crazy letters, is because you've only got 140 characters. And if you use a regular link, like if I were gonna use, for this one, it would be michelleschafer.com forward slash creating dash awesome dash you know how long those links get and then there's a date in it that would use up like my whole 140 characters so we use link shorteners that just redirect people to the to the link um, so that's the shortened link and then you can see here I've used two hashtags blog boost and blog tribe what a hashtag is is where you see this pound sign and then one word or two words squished together it makes it easy to search for everyone who's posted with that particular hashtag. You can see here, Jeff just posted tips on batting, being patient at the plate. Owly, that's another link shortener. Then he used blog boost. Blog boost is a hashtag for the ultimate blog challenge. And everyone here who's tweeted with that particular hashtag is participating. And it's how we make it easy to find each other on Twitter. You can see here, Jeff also included blog 30 and 30 DPC as hashtags. Those are two other challenge groups that are happening on Twitter so they can connect with each other. Another way to use hashtags is, let's see here, find a good example. Here's one. Julia tweeted out her latest blog post, working with children, and she tagged it with blog boost. She also tagged it with counselors, expat, parenting, and education. What happens when you click one of these is that it brings up the search results for everyone who has tweeted with the hashtag education. These are all people who have a blog post or a link to share, something to say about education. So it's a great way to connect with other people who are tweeting the same topic and get your tweets found if you tag it with those keywords with a pound sign and then the keyword. And that's called a hashtag. And going back to my profile here, I'm going to show you a Twitter conversation. When you are talking to someone on Twitter, you use at, here's one, and their username. This conversation started out, I tweeted out a blog post I'd written called Monogamy Not Required, Love More Than One. Uh, that particular post is about social networking and that it's okay to be on more than one social network. Stephanie replied, see, at Michelle Schaefer, and said, that's not what I tell my husband, catchy headline. She tagged it SM for social media. I replied to her, see, at sign, and then her name, also not what I tell my husband. Um, so we were having a conversation there going back and forth and you can tell because we talked at each other. So those are some basics about tweets.